cytotoxic drugs are toxic to cells and prevents their replication and growth. Such drugs used in conventional formulations could lead to adverse side effects as they also harm healthy human tissue. Targeted drug delivery systems, on the other hand, enable high efficacy with minimal side effects. These issues may be mitigated by lowering the dose, but lowering the dose leads to further complications. This calls for a targeted drug delivery mechanism such as liposomes. Liposomes have salient features such as they are composed of natural lipids, they are biologically inert, biodegradable and weakly immunogenic. However, creating true liposomes is expensive and employs several complex processes. CIPLA has developed two liposomal formulations for targeted drug delivery. Liposomal amphotericin B fosom and liposomal pegylated doxorubicin oncodox. Pegylated liposomal doxorubicin can be used for chemotherapy for certain types of cancers. Liposomal doxorubicin is formulated by remote loading doxorubicin into plain pegylated liposomes containing an ammonium sulfate gradient. During the creation of the liposome, the doxorubicin complexes bind to one another and form a long inflexible band of doxorubicin sulfate aggregate inside the liposome. The liposome in this application is formulated with surface bound polyethylene glycol, also known as pegylation. Pegylated liposomes avoids detection by the mononuclear phagocyte system, ensuring that the drug has a longer blood circulation time. Due to its controlled size, the liposomes are able to penetrate the vasculature of tumors, but not healthy cells. This is called the enhanced permeation and retention effect. Over time, the liposomes accumulate in the tumor tissue and the encapsulated doxorubicin HCL becomes available to act on the tumor cells. Amphotericin B is a very effective drug for systemic fungal infections. However, it is well known for its severe and potentially lethal side effects including multiple organ damage and irreversible kidney damage. Liposomal Amphotericin B is made by the intercalation of Amphotericin B into single unilamellar vesicles by high pressure homogenization. In the liposomal form, Amphotericin B is entrapped in the lipid bilayer and gets released at the site of action. On intravenous administration, the working mechanism of this liposome is driven by the reticuloendothelial system. The drug-laden liposomes enter macrophages in the blood. These macrophages are attracted to the infected site through chemotaxis. Once they reach the infected site, the macrophages begin to degrade, resulting in the release of drug. CIPLA's Liposomes for Drug Delivery